Just imagine this. You're standing on the edge of a quiet limestone quarry in southern Germany. It's calm, peaceful, nothing moves, until a brush reveals the outline of something ancient, something tiny, fragile, a creature that lived before birds, before mammals, before the earth even looked like earth. And suddenly, you're not just holding a fossil, you're holding a mystery that's waited 150 million years to be solved. This isn't just any discovery. It's the first baby Pleurosaurus, a rare marine reptile from the Jurassic Seas, found in pristine detail. And what it reveals could rewrite a century of scientific assumptions. But what does it mean for the history of evolution? Why is this tiny creature shaking the foundations of taxonomy and paleontology? And why did it take us so long to find it? Stick with me, because this story isn't just about a fossil. It's about what we've been missing for over a hundred million years. On 3rd August 2025, a groundbreaking paper was quietly published in the Anatomical Record. The authors, a team of international paleontologists, the find, a small, delicate fossil discovered in Bavaria's Mernsheim Formation, just south of Solnhofen, Germany. And while this region is famous for fossils like Archaeopteryx, this time, something far more unusual surfaced. The fossil was unmistakably Pleurosaurus, a long, eel-like marine reptile related to today's Tuatara. These animals weren't dinosaurs. They were Rhynchocephalians, a group of reptiles that mostly died out, except for one lone survivor in New Zealand. But here's what makes this fossil different. This Pleurosaurus wasn't an adult, not a subadult. It was a hatchling, a baby. And that changed everything. Because despite dozens of Pleurosaurus fossils being discovered across Europe over the last century, not a single one had ever been a juvenile. We had seen what they looked like as adults. Sleek, streamlined bodies, short, four limbs, long tails built for swimming. But we had no idea how they grew. No roadmap for their development, no clues about what separated a baby from an adult until now. The fossil itself is only about 25 centimeters long, its bones are soft, barely ossified. Its teeth are tiny, unused, still waiting for a first meal. Its vertebrae are not yet fused. The skull, delicate. This little reptile was freshly hatched when it died, probably only weeks old, frozen in time beneath layers of limestone and silence. And because of this, we now see Pleurosaurus in an entirely new light, scientific breakthrough moment, building tension and impact. Until this discovery, Scientists debated the existence of a mysterious genus called Acrosaurus, known only from juvenile-looking remains. But here's the twist. This baby Pleurosaurus, it looks almost identical to Acrosaurus. Same tiny proportions, same dental structure, same underdeveloped limbs. And now, paleontologists believe Acrosaurus was never its own species. It may have simply been a juvenile Pleurosaurus misclassified for decades. It's like discovering a missing page from a prehistoric diary and realizing we've been reading it out of order all this time. But how does a reptile like this even grow up? What changes? Do their limbs shrink with age? Do their skulls elongate as they swim more? That's the next big question. Because this one fossil, while powerful, raises more mysteries than it answers. And here's the other kicker. Juvenile fossils like this are extremely rare. Why? Because baby skeletons are fragile. They're soft. They decay faster, break more easily, and are rarely preserved. That's why this find, this one tiny fossil, is worth more than gold to scientists. It's a window into a world we thought was lost. Just think. This creature lived in a shallow Jurassic lagoon, surrounded by coral, ammonites, and giant sea reptiles. It hatched. It swam. It died young. And then, for 150 million years, it lay waiting, perfectly preserved, beneath what would one day be a German hillside. And now, it's telling us its story, not in words, but in bones, in shape, in silence. And maybe, that's enough. We're only just beginning to understand the ancient world. And sometimes it takes the smallest bones to make the biggest discoveries. So if you believe stories like this matter, if you want more real science that stuns, shocks, and inspires, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel, because there's a lot more hiding beneath the surface. And together, we're going to uncover it, one mystery at a time.